Hello, thanks for watching my YouTube video. Uh, this is the fourth episode of a video series of Overcurrent Relay. And today topics is a trip control method of Overcurrent Relay. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start with DC voltage trip. Uh, in this method, uh, control circuit is external DC power supply. And as shown in this diagram, the circuit breaker 52 contain the trip coil, which let 52 trip by being energized himself. Uh, I mean, it, if trip coil is energized, 52 will trip. And also, uh, he has the auxiliary contact, which is linked to the main contact state. So um, if the main contact is closed, auxiliary contact also closed. So if fourth current uh, passing through here, it's greater than the relay's certain pickup value. Uh, this relay is energized and contact time to close. And also this internal core is energized and also this contact uh, flip the state. Uh, th this is the uh, for self-holding the uh, self-holding. Uh, so if after, even after the fourth current is disappeared, they can keep this state. All right, so, and the thanks to this relay's contact, uh, he made this closed path and trip core is energized and circuit breaker will trip. Also, auxiliary contact is turned to open. Okay. So, the advantage of this method is high reliability. Uh, uh, thanks to the, this independent external DC power supply, uh, doesn't matter what, what happened in the power system side, like, you know, power outage or voltage drop, uh, doesn't matter. That 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 don't affect this control circuit side. So it's very high reliability. Also, uh, remote control is possible, and this advantage is high cost for installing uh, exter external DC power supply. Okay, so the current trip method. Uh, in this method, the trigger is trigger for the trip is the current which is flowing in the CT secondary side itself. So, so uh, this method don't require um, any extra um, external power supply like DC. Um, supply or something. They use this uh, CT secondary side current itself. And uh, until this fourth current exceeds a certain pickup value of the relay, current flow uh, this this closed pass. Okay, uh, this closed pass. This is normally closed contact so this this loot flowing all right but uh, here another loot is also closed in parallel okay okay I mean this loot 
and this root is in parallel. But uh, here is in the trigger core, and the core has some impedance, and impedance disturbs the flow of the current. So current will go more low impedance side. So here is no load, no, no impedance. It's a short circuited, so current flow um, this loop. And if uh, this CT secondary side current exceeds the relay's pickup value, the relay's coil is energized and contact term to closed closed and there are another loot here is made it and also the internal core is energized in this contact also closed here they, they are also um, as same as the last uh, DC protein trip they are for self-holding the state after this IF has disappeared and uh, also, this this normally closed contact is turn to open. So here is open socketed. So they are no longer to this loot is open socket. So IF is flow uh, this loot instead, and fifty two trip core is energized and circuit break 52 will trip. And uh, advantage of this current trip method is it's relatively um, economical, it's um, cheaper uh, because there are no need uh, for installing some external uh, device. Uh, on the other hand, this advantage of this method um, is low reliability uh, cause of using the fourth current directory and also if the power outage happened at the uh, main power system uh, the control circuit uh, no longer has a capability of tripping the circuit breaker. Okay, they lose the ability to trip the circuit breaker. And also, we need to take into account uh, that the trip coil has some a minimum operating current value. Uh, and the CT secondary current should be greater than this minimum operating current. Uh, so it's kind of a regulation of designing. So we needed to consider it. So I think it's sort of a disadvantage. The last one is capacitor trip. Uh, in this manner, uh, there are diode and capacitor in the house and the diode can uh, rectificate AC to DC, power system AC to control circuit DC, and DC is charged in, in this capacitor. And the trip core will be energized by using this charge. Uh, other than that, it's the same, uh, same principle as the DC voltage trip. Uh, if fourth current exceeds uh, pickup value, relay is energized and turn contact turn to close and this made closed pass and this charge is flowing this trip core and circuit breaker will trip. Uh, sorry, I forgot uh, drawing this line. This is self, self holding. And in this manner, uh, there are no need to install some external power supply. So it's, it's cheaper, relatively cheaper, like compared to DC voltage trip. 
and also um, if um, the power outage happen at the main power system it still has the capability of tripping circuit breaker by using this charge of the capacitor uh, one time or several times as, as long as uh, this charge of the capacitor exists um, but still the DC voltage trip is the most reliable way so the capacitor trip is kind of a medium you know um, the medium way so so the cost and uh, reliability is always um, sort of a compromise so we need to design uh, very depending on the each situation uh, there are a lot of factor like uh, regulation of some designing and the cost and reliability and um, something like that.